Brave vs Chrome, a battle that has raged for years. On one hand, a plucky small little open source browser, and on the other, the corporate heavyweight. Only facts will help us settle this debate once and for all, and today, ladies and gentlemen, facts I have. In this Brave vs Chrome 2023 comparison, I'm going to answer all the most burning questions that you have. We're going to cover privacy, we're going to cover security, we're going to cover UI, we're going to cover performance, and all those unique little touches on top. So, is Brave better than Chrome privacy-wise? Where Google Chrome will collect a lot of data and make such advertisements and search results I see tailored to me specifically, Brave Browser eliminates the bias. This is very important for transparency. In the same manner where Google Chrome is just constantly hoarding all of your data and quite often sharing that data with third parties that you don't necessarily know about, Brave does nothing of the sort. Moreover, with Brave Browser, you have the ability to endorse your favorite website. And there's even a unique reward system for interacting with unobtrusive ads, something I've not encountered before. So privacy-wise, is Brave better than Chrome? Now, this is something that's very important to me and something that I really love about Brave. This browser really takes privacy to the next level and makes it super, super easy. It blocks third-party cookies and ads, and it does all of this out of the box. It's just included functionality by default. There's nothing you have to do to go and set that up. It just does it. Most importantly though, both Brave and Chrome show you the like button on this video, so make sure you go and smash that before I share the rest with you. It helps me out an absolute ton, believe me. So when it comes to Brave versus Chrome user interface comparisons, it's pretty hard to stay objective. This is where it starts getting a bit muddy. On the one hand, I really like Google Chrome's UI. It's clean, it's modern, it's easy, you're used to it, everyone knows what it is. And it's even better when you realize that there is just a ton of themes and visual overhauls and plugins to make it blend in nicely with whatever system you have or whatever it is you want to do with it. Whereas in a similar fashion, Brave provides you with a lot of options for customization, which is absolutely amazing. Moreover, even core parts of Brave browser can be modified or removed. Don't like that search tab button at the top, for instance? Well, yeet, off it goes. Customization is great, but there's one thing that runs deeper that you can never change, and it is much, much more important to you. And that is this fact. Brave is open source, and Google Chrome is proprietary. So what does that mean? What that means is that Google Chrome is made behind closed doors. Nobody can see the code or suggest changes in any way. On one side, there's an argument that says that this is great because the code is safe, it's private, it's protected from third-party influences. Well, you'd think that, wouldn't you? In fact, this also means that if Google wants to add new features, compromising your privacy or collecting even more of your data, you won't ever know. That's why open source projects like Brave are being taken in high regard. While Brave is based on Chromium, the same basis as Google Chrome, all of Brave's code is available publicly for any skilled coder to examine. This creates a really strong community dedicated to perfecting security and privacy elements of Brave, which I find fascinating. Is Brave safer than Chrome as a result? Not necessarily. After all, Chrome is designed by a team of professionals in one of the biggest IT companies in the world. But is Brave more transparent and by proxy trustworthy? In my opinion, absolutely. So the next thing we need to look at is Brave Browser versus Chrome and the difference between their features. Chrome browser was designed in a way that supports seamless syncing across multiple devices. All of your data, passwords, logins, history, ports from one device to another as soon as you sign into Chrome, which is super handy. On the other hand, Brave doesn't do this. It's a much more manual affair to move all of your data and history from one PC to another. So when it comes to comfort, I'd say Google Chrome is more polished. However, Brave is more concerned with privacy-focused elements. For instance, I really like Brave Search, which I mentioned a bit before. 
It's a feature that ensures no personalized stuff ends up in search results, providing you with unbiased results to any search. Another reason why Brave is better than Chrome, in my opinion, is the IPFS protocol. This protocol is designed to combat internet censorship, an absolute must-have if you're living in a country with a strict regime. This is not the only anti-censorship feature. Brave also has Tor browser integration, allowing you to use perhaps the most secure network in the world. Obviously, it's very slow and it's not easy to get around for a beginner, so I wouldn't recommend fiddling with it if you don't know what you're doing. But to be completely fair towards Chrome, I will agree that despite lacking many security or privacy features that Brave offers, it has an option to install extensions. And there are plenty of very effective extensions like ad blockers, private search engines, and even Tor implementations. So if you want, you can make Google Chrome relatively private. But Google still has a lot of ways to get their hands on your data. Okay, but what about the Brave versus Chrome performance comparison? And I'm not talking about speed. Yeah, I heard the question, is Brave faster than Chrome, being tossed around, and it's mostly nonsense. Your speed depends on your ISP first and foremost, but your device's performance can depend upon your browser. From my experience, comparing Brave versus Chrome RAM usage, Brave is a lot less demanding browser, while Chrome basically eats my RAM with a huge spoon. Notably, I have actually heard people claiming Brave to be the fastest browser, but I've tried running a Brave vs Chrome 2023 speed comparison, and honestly, while there is a difference, it's not significant enough to get panicked about it. So let's conclude. Is Brave a good browser? Oh, undoubtedly. Is it better than Chrome? Absolutely, but only if you're looking for full privacy options and you don't want Google to have any of your data. Google Chrome is still a popular choice for many since it's just more convenient and people are used to it. Personally, I can't go back to Chrome after using Brave for a while. The Brave versus Chrome privacy difference is just too important for me. So what do you think? Will you keep using Chrome or switch to Brave? Or maybe you use a completely different browser. Let me know in the comments below, and if you found this video useful, consider leaving me a like and subscribing to the channel. Every little bit helps. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video soon.